Welcome to my channel. It's been a long time. If this is your first time seeing my face, I'm Karen and I do makeup, fashion, lifestyle, all the fun stuff. Um, you can get really close and personal with me. I upload like super personal stuff too. But today, I'm so excited to be partnering with Makeup Forever for their Reboot Foundation. Skincare is a huge thing on my channel. I talk about it, I'm obsessed with it, I'm a junkie. I've been doing skincare since I was like 15, 16 years old because my mom is super Chinese and in our Hong Kong Chinese culture, skincare is like, every woman talks about it. Every single woman that I knew when I grew up in Hong Kong get facials almost every single week. And when we first immigrated to America and that was like not a thing here, I was so shocked. So for me, when I heard about the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, I was so excited because last year I did a foundation routine for summer sweat proof and that foundation was beautiful, like Makeup Forever, always makes beautiful, beautiful foundations. This one though has skincare benefits and it just makes you look super glowy, especially I'm pregnant you guys and my skin has been super duper dry. So let me just show you the bottle. I, I have two different shades here. My skin is like in the medium shade right now. It's super light because I haven't gone outside. I've been super pukey, but it's also like not so light to the point where I need to be a Y22.5. Let me just kind of talk about the skincare benefits of this as I apply it on. So the first thing I like to do is to start off with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. This guy is a really good like skin prep. It's basically a face serum and I like to just drop it onto my skin and we're going to moisturize my face. It's pretty dry. I don't know what it is. These hormones are crazy. Rub this into your face. Massage it in. Okay, so prepping your skin is the first step to flawless looking foundation, especially when your skin is dry over this winter season. And then next thing I could do is just kind of like fan my face, let it really soak into my skin, let it kind of dry before I apply the next step. I love putting a serum on because you can feel like how your skin is just a little bit tacky. It means that your skin is really absorbing all of the goodies. Next, I'm taking this Farsali Face Mist Spray, which is also a setting spray, and it's more on the hydrating side. This step is important because you wanna prep your skin so that your foundation will sit on it and has something to cling on. It smells like lemons too. I've just been so nervous to dye my hair or bleach it. I've read that it's okay to do it as long as you do it in your second trimester when your pregnancy is more stable. So I'm waiting until like my 16 week, but yeah, please excuse this mess. My skin is prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the foundation. So I'm going to be mixing Y225 and Y244. They both have a beautiful yellow undertone for my skin tone. It's not too pink. I'm just gonna pop this onto the back of my hand. So I'll do like three pumps of this. And then it's very watery. Maybe two pumps of that. I always like to apply foundation with a brush. So this brush is the Luxie 510 foundation brush. it into my skin. So I like to start off with half of my face because I feel like if I go ahead with the other full face, the other side tends to dry up too quick. So this formula, you guys, has ginseng in it. So ginseng helps produce collagen in your skin. And what I love about this formula too, it also helps strengthen your skin barrier. Your skin needs a protective barrier against pollution, the sun, so that it's not as sensitive. This is before and this is after. It really helps cover a lot of my spots that I have on my face. I have a little bit of like red lines, 
lines and stuff like that going on. Just a sign of aging. But what I love about this foundation is too is that it allows your skin to still peek through and has a really, really beautiful satin finish. So I pulled you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see. Next up I'm gonna do is actually take my concealer. Um, the CC Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It doesn't say on here, but it's actually a self-setting concealer. And I'm taking a pretty light colored one. This is in the color 20. Dollop a bunch onto the back of my hand and then take my concealer brush, apply this into the inner corners of my eyes. And then with the other end, this is the blending portion. I'm just gonna blend this out. I like to do the first half of my eye first in brightening and then take the other half and then go ahead and blend. I just like to really work in sections when I'm doing my makeup because this is how you avoid going overboard in my opinion, especially when you're doing like very natural everyday makeup. Basically the look where you look like you're not wearing anything and you just woke up looking so glowy and beautiful. There's something about putting makeup on it's so relaxing and therapeutic a couple weeks ago when i was super pukey i would puke like three times a day and there was one day i woke up where i didn't have to puke so i was like oh my god i rushed to the bathroom and i was like okay i'm going to do my makeup and then i did my brows i was shaking <laughs> And then I realized what a privilege it is to have the energy to do makeup. And I feel so happy right now because I have the energy back again to sit in front of a camera and do my makeup again. I feel so lucky to be able to just talk to you guys again on Instagram. If you guys have any questions about my pregnancy, I do plan on doing a pregnancy Q&A. You can ask me and Leo questions. Feel free to ask me questions in the comment section below. If you're curious about this brush, this is the Huda Beauty Face Conceal and Blend Brush. I'm gonna take the concealer again and add it to the high points of my face, which is like my chin, and then to my forehead. Notice I'm not going to just like draw lines down. I'm actually gonna create a dome shape. And we're going to blend it out like this later too. Highlight my nose. I wanna keep as straight as you can. And we're going to let this dry. I'm going to take a blending brush. This is actually a large fluff brush from Lexi 233. And I'm just going to blend in this same dome shape. This is a trick to highlight your face and make it look like you have a little bit more dimension on your forehead. I have a pretty flat forehead, it kind of slants up, so it kind of just gives me the appearance of like a more of a rounded forehead. Blend my chin. Out. And I'm just gonna leave that right there and then using the makeup forever ultra HD Compact powder you kind of want to press it in there until it looks invisible And this will really help set and brighten your under eye and also look super natural And I like to use a puff that's dry. I don't like using a beauty blender that's wet because I feel like it just kind of moves the powder around in a really weird way. This is just what works for me though. To each is their own, right? And then I'm going to apply this white powder into this dome shape too. I'm not setting my cheeks because it's dry there. I don't need to set it. It kind of just naturally does its thing, but if you have oily cheeks, I recommend setting your cheeks too with like a translucent powder that has some color in it. Don't use with the white. The white is only meant for highlighting your parts. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. Makeup Forever HD Concealer in the shade 40. So I'm taking 41 and 31 and a half and mixing them together. And then I'm gonna take my foundation brush that I used earlier and take my beauty blender. I'm just gonna do one part at a time. Time to use your beauty blender and blend your contour out. Next thing I'm gonna do is just blend this out now. There is the highlight of the nose. What's crazy is I haven't even contoured it yet, but it already looks like I contoured my nose because of how bright the 
highlight color is for the concealer. I don't look as pale anymore. I have some color on my face. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take my blush. For a glowy everyday makeup, this is a really beautiful color. M Cosmetics Heaven Glow Magic Hour. It's basically like a highlight slash blush. It has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's just so beautiful on the skin. You see my contour kind of like landed a little bit on my face. That's okay because we're gonna blend that out with the blush. This will give you a really like beautiful summery tan look. When I apply blush, I like to start off right in the center of my cheek and then bring it all the way up here. It lifts your cheeks up. This gives you a facelift when you apply it to the center of your face and you drag it up. And then you kind of just blend it together with the contour that you just applied on. And don't forget your nose. Don't be afraid to apply a lot of blush because it's the first thing that disappears. So I really like to go ham when I do my blush. So the next step I'm gonna do is my brows. I'm gonna do my brows. It's boring, I'll be right back. Okay friends, we're getting right into the eyes. And for the first color, I'm taking from the M Cosmetics Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. It doesn't have a name, but it's a beautiful like neutral blending shade for the lids. to take the ends and just kind of make it into a little bit of a more of a V shape. The brush I'm using to blend is actually the Anastasia A25. Take whatever's left of that and take it into the contour of my nose. Really just taking the product into here. Next, I'm taking the ABH Jackie Aina palette. Oh, it's one of my favorite, favorite palettes. Um, I'm gonna use this shade right here called Sponsored. Tap it to the center of my lids. Taking a flat shading brush, this is the Anastasia A13. Looks like that. I'm gonna take this color called Trust Issue. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna take Soleil. I'm just gonna apply it to the right here so that there's a really beautiful gradient. I love how you can just use your fingers with these colors. I'm taking Trust Issues, I'm applying it to the inner corner of my eyes and taking it up here. I'm taking the same color. I'm just gonna blend out the edges up here. I'm taking a flat shader brush. This is the Luxie 221. And then I'm taking the color Credit right here. I'm drawing an eyeliner now. So I'm going to fill in my lash line. So I got my eyeliner on. It's very soft, smoky with an eyeshadow. That's how I like to do it every day now. Not with like a liquid eyeliner. I don't know what it is, but I love the way it looks. And I'm taking my Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. These are the Demi Wispies. They're my favorite drugstore lashes. You have to get the Faux Mink because the lashes actually kind of like look soft at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply them on and my lashes are on. Next step is a little bit of highlight. Today I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Glow Pillow Talk Highlight. So I'm gonna take this brush right here, add a little bit to the cheekbones, my nose bridge. I think this just gives you that soft glow look that's not too loud. I like a really nice soft glowy look. And I'm taking it all the way up to my temples, Cupid's bow, my chin, here, here. It looks like glass. I really, really like this highlight. Makeup Forever, Endless Cacao in 506. Just gonna line the upper. Taking just a tint lip crayon from ColourPop. Now I'm actually gonna blend the lip liner with this creamy product. And then I'm just going to soften the edges of the lip liner just a little bit. For the top of my lip, I only overlined my Cupid's bow just a touch. We're going to use the For Sally setting spray again. Very hydrating and we're gonna set everything Okay, and this is the completed look. You guys, I popped on a beret to hide my hideous roots, but this is so cute. I am so grateful and thankful that you guys have watched it all up until now. If you guys actually watched it 
to this point, comment beret in the comment section below so I know you're a real one. And feel free to ask me any questions about my pregnancy that I will be answering in my next video. Feel free to ask Leo questions too because he'll be joining me in that video. And I want to thank Makeup Forever so much for making this video possible. Just look at my skin right now, it's like flawless. Make sure you go to Sephora and all the links that's relevant from this video will be in the description box below. If you have an Instagram, feel free to follow me at I'm Karen o, and you can subscribe right now if you wanna see more of my videos or hit the bell. I will be uploading pretty frequently now, at least once a week. So you'll be seeing more of this girl in your subscription box. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.